He has called us. Let us humble ourselves as God is going to speak to us how he pleases him. We are just here. It is God that can use donkey to speak. Let God do what he can do now in Jesus' name. May God bless us in Jesus' name. We never allow anything to distract us this hour in Jesus' name. Amen. Speedily, I go to the topic of today. Hallelujah. Amen. Is the Lord God is seeking for the true worshiper? Our Lord God is seeking for a true worshiper. Hallelujah. When I'm calling the Lord God, when I'm saying about the Lord God, I mean the God that did marvelous things in the sight of our fathers, in the land of Egypt, in the field of Zoan. When I mention the name of God, the God I'm mentioning here, the God that divided the Red Sea and caused his people to pass through and made the water to stand as a heap. That's the Lord I'm talking about. The Lord God that led his people with a cloud in the day and the light of fire in the night. The Lord God Almighty that cleared the cross in the wilderness and gave them drink out of the depths. The merciful God and the consuming fire. The Lord God that loves the whole world. That the God I'm calling this hour, the Lord I'm mentioning. Because there are many gods, gods, gods. We need to differentiate the Almighty God, the creator of heaven and earth. It's the Lord God that loves the whole world, which made him to send his only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, to come and die that to save us. And has declared that whosoever believeth in him, whoever believeth in him, in our Lord Jesus Christ, will not perish, but have everlasting life. He's really today seeking for those that believe, the true worshiper. Many are called if you are chosen. Are you a true worshiper? Are you a true worshiper? Those that believe in him, those that trust, those that steadfastly walking along the steps and the paths and the commands of our Lord Jesus Christ. Who has been set as an example before us. Our Lord Jesus Christ is our only example not a man, neither a woman, nothing created. But it's an example to us as children of God. He's seeking for those that are grateful. Are you grateful unto the Lord? Are you grateful that our Lord Jesus Christ died and saved you and paid the price that we could not pay? Are you still in your own way, still waiting for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ? He has come as a savior, the waiting again now is coming as a judge. Our Lord is seeking for the true worshipers, the doers of his word. We will be hearing that every day we hear, every day we gather, wherever we worship, every day we read the word of God, we pray. Are we the doers? Our Lord God is seeking unto those that are able to extend his love to the whole world and not wickedness. What are we extending? Are we extending the love? Is the love radiating? He's seeking for those that do not speak against God in any little situation. Who is greater than the Lord divine? What is that situation? Those that do not limit God, God is seeking unto them. They forgot all the goodness and wonder worker of God. At a little thing, I must start babbling. Forgot all the God that did, like the children of Israel, no. 
those that still know that God is their protector, is the director, it is the strong tower, that the righteous run unto him and they are saved and saved forever. And God is seeking unto those that desire for eternal life in heaven. Not those that are stubborn, nor rebellious. But the humble, the, the humble ones. Not those that are there for their own friend, for their own selfish purpose or interest. But those that are willing to fulfill the will of the Lord. Not those that are working on their own path. The word of God said that is a way that cement right unto a man. The end of that way of man is a disappointing end. Jesus Christ is the only way, the narrow way that will take us to heaven. God is seeking unto those that are seriously looking unto that every destination. Those that are seriously walking through that narrow way those that are striving, are we striving? Are we relaxing, thinking to enter? We need to put effort. We need to add something. Our Lord Jesus Christ has died. Really, yes. But still, we have our work to do. We need to comply. We need to be compli compliant. He has died to save. He said, as many. It's not forcing us, but as many. And it's never be the will of our Father for anyone to perish, but for us all to come. Are you still doubting about our Lord Jesus Christ? Have you given your life to Jesus Christ, our Lord? God is seeking to those that are following him. I'm not church goers. Yes, many are in the churches. Our God is seeking unto them according to John, no, Matthew 15, 8 and 9, those that are worshiping him with their hearts, not yes, their mouth is, their mouth are moving, yes, lips are moving, singing, shouting, doing all this kind of thing, even preaching, but where are our hearts? That love of our Lord Jesus Christ, that spirit of the Lord is in abandoning us, are we abandoned by the Spirit of the Lord? Our well, God is really seeking at this last time. Our Lord Jesus Christ is coming soon. The time is very short. Our well, God is seriously seeking. Because the enemy, the devil, is seriously stealing. He never sees his stealing. So our Lord seeking. Are we falling away? Are we still standing? Our Lord is seeking unto them that their yes is yes and their no is still no. Can somebody trust you? When you tell somebody yes, can they believe you? Or you say yes, but <laughs> the answer is no. Our Lord God seeking unto those that yes, their yes is yes. Because our God's word is yes and yes, no is no. Those that do not waver, those that do not, that are not carried by the doctrines, by the wind of doctrines. You hear this, you follow here, you don't know your stand, you don't know your bears. No, we should know. The Lord that created the heaven and earth in Genesis 1, that's the God I'm calling up, saying up this hour, I'm mentioning. The creator of heaven and earth out of nothing, he made something. I'm trying to explain the God, the author and finisher of our faith. The true God, that is the God I'm talking about now. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The question is, are you a true worshiper? Let us read John chapter 4, verse 23. Hallelujah.
But the hour cometh, and now is. When the true worshiper shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. Why? God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Now is the hour. Our God is seeking. In this chapter 4, our Lord Jesus Christ had a cancer with a woman of Samaria. We know this story well. We are Bible scholars by the grace of God. We are hearing this word of God every day. Now we are analyzing it. Thank God for the servants of the Lord. From Matthew, God is breaking, disintegrating this word of God. So it will be easy for us. It's left for us now to guard all these things. So these things we are learning will not stand against us. But the more we know, the more God is expecting something from us. He's expecting the evidence of all these things we are learning. The fruits as a child of God, as children of God. God is seeking, looking forward to see those that are living by examples. Those that are building, praise the Lord. Amen. The word of God said in Matthew John 1, from 5 to 12. John 1, 5 to 12, I read in Jesus' name. And the light shine in the darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. There was a man sent from God, whose name was John. Seven, the same came for a witness, to be a witness of the light that all men through him might believe. It was not that light, but was sent to be a witness of that light. That was the true light, which lighted every man that cometh into the world. Ten, he was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. Twelve, but as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even the, to them that believe on his name. Our Lord Jesus came to his own, his own received him not. Now, he went to all now. His own couldn't even identify him. They rejected him. It is as many now that receive him going to have that power. Only the true worshippers will have this power. They are not going to receive, we receive God, yes, not by mouth. Those that are ready to carry. In all circumstances, we stand for God, we stand for our Lord Jesus Christ. I know we can't do it on our own. That is why the Holy Spirit is there for us. It's for us to call. Our God said, it's not far that he cannot answer us. It's only our sins that can separate us from him. Our God is not even costly, it's not expensive. Our God just wants us to remember him. Little things like this, we see the manifestation of our Father. See, as many that believe in him, he's seeking unto them that really believe, those that he can use, are given the power to become his sons and daughters of his. These are the people our, our Lord God is seeking for. Have you received him? Are you still waiting to, for tomorrow? Say tomorrow, maybe even 10 minutes now might be too late, as my sister said that here. It might be too late. What life, what, what is it that we're still doing? What is it that's still hiding? We are still procrastinating. Disqualifying us as being a true worshiper before the Lord. This is a question all of us will ask, answer. Am I a true worshiper? God needs to reveal whether I'm really a true worshiper. Because God is spirit. It's not, yes, I'm, I'm seeing you face to face. That God is, you know, we need to fulfill the criteria of our Lord God.
Praise the Lord. Amen. Who is a true worshiper? They are the set of creatures of those people. Because God said, if you don't worship me, I will cause stone to worship me. God that made the donkey to speak, there's nothing God cannot do. He has given us this chance because he puts everything under us. He has given us this dominion. How can we be here as children of God, as human beings and animals or something creatures lower than us receive this power? It's, a, it's an abomination. I give no dominion. We need to exercise it. We need to show off that really I'm a child of God. That was why I mentioned the God I'm talking about here, our Lord Jesus Christ. Have you given your life to Jesus Christ, our Lord? Are, you, are we still dreaming? Oh, he has not, he did not die, he did not resurrect. Are we still in that category? It's real. Our Lord Jesus died for us all. If you have not surrendered to him, Please, this is the time. Tomorrow may be too late. Walk out, walk it out now is there. When the night comes, there will be no other opportunity. A true worshiper, as I've said, they worship with their hearts. Not only, not only with the lips, yes, lips there, mouths there, but the hearts. We honor God with our hearts. They honor not the traditions of men. They are not there to please men. What will this man or who, who, what will they say? We need to fear God. The true worshippers are those that are fearing God. According to Matthew chapter 10. My sister, can I read it? Matthew chapter 10, 26 to 28. Hallelujah. Read in Jesus' name. Fear them not, therefore, for there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed, and hid that shall not be known. What I tell you in darkness, that speak ye in light, and what you hear. What I tell you in darkness, that speak ye in light. And what you hear in, e hear in the ear, that preach ye upon the housetop. And fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Our God is seeking unto them that fear him. Only him can kill, only him can destroy, even the soul in hell. No other one has that power. Those that know, those that acknowledge that only him, not those that fear him, not the investigative Christians. We are here to worship God. We are here to join our hearts and minds together. Without unity, without one spirit, we cannot do it. We cannot gather to worship God and spirit and one is dancing a different dance altogether. No. God is seeking unto that church, that body that is filled with the Holy Spirit. Not that one that having grudges in hearts, bitterness. In the presence of the Lord, there's fullness of joy. Not those that are hidden something and we're deceiving ourselves. See? The word of God says there's nothing hidden here that cannot be revealed. As I said in this Samaritan woman, we know this story. Let me just read few verses from there so we can get it a bit right. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Yeah, he had a counter with her. She had a counter with her Lord Jesus Christ. She just came to fetch ordinary water. She just came to draw water. Her intention was just to come and do what? Take water. Most of us have come to, to God just as a maybe. One thing has led us to come to the Lord. Yes, God knows everything. He knew why. This woman came to just draw water. Then he met our Lord Jesus Christ. Unknowingly, they started discussion, conversation. And when his, her eye opened, our Lord Jesus Christ asked her about her husband. She confessed. She said, she has been marrying 
being with five men, she she herself knew that none of those people were her husband. Some are still doing it today. They're living with different men or different women. Tell yourself the truth. We need to, a lot of just guys is waiting to them that abandon those and have encounter with him. When uh, this woman encountered our Lord Jesus Christ, she confessed. Have you confessed? Have you restituted? She confessed, really. She was with five men. She said, I didn't have, can you imagine? She did, no, she didn't. With five people, but nothing. When you read it down, you, our Lord Jesus Christ made him have to know. Because he, our Lord Jesus Christ knew everything. We are, just, we are just like water in the glass cup. You know, any, any impurity can be seen. It's, that's how we are before the Lord. There's nothing we can hide. That is why it's good for us to surrender. Let us pray, Holy Spirit, to help us. We cannot shy away from the Lord. God is seeing us. He just gives us a chance to, to, to make that decision on our own. This woman confessed. I read. But whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst. But the water that I shall I'm reading verse 14. John 4 14. But whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give, him shall never thirst. But the water that I shall give, him shall be in him a well of water springing up into everlasting life. The woman said unto him, Sir, give me this water that I thirst not, neither, neither come hither to draw. Jesus said unto her, Go, call thy husband, and come hither. Can you see? He said, Go and call your husband. And she confessed. The woman answered and said, I have no husband. Jesus said unto her, Thou hast well said, I have no husband. He knew. He said, go, and, go and call your husband. Go and call this. Go and do this. See how our Lord presented it. Do not, she did not even ask, how many, do you have a Go and call. And she, she didn't pretend that her salvation was just there. She did not miss that opportunity. That instant opportunity. She just came to draw water. Just to draw water. Now she met the, the living water that she can never be quenched and thirst anymore. She surrendered. She gave her heart to our Lord Jesus Christ to use. Some people have been coming to the presence of God, worshiping God, going to church, still, they're still like this, within them, holding some things. What are, who are we holding those things for? It's not for our own good. Let them go. Take away those burdens. Take them away. Confess. Clear yourself. This is the grace that is still with us now. Because when this night comes, this grace will cease to function. He said, I have no husband. A lot of guys say, yes, you were said. For thou hast had five husbands, <laughs> and he whom thou now hast is not thy husband. In that said, thou truly. A lot of guys was telling him, her, ah. she did not even say uh, five husbands. But Lord Jesus Christ was telling her how, how many, the number. Can you see? All our sins are like this before the Lord. Everything we are here is just like this. Oh, God have mercy. Filthy rag before the Lord. All our ways are like this before the Lord. For us to make a move and confess, say, God, and repent. My people who are called by my name should humble themselves. We need to humble ourselves unto the Lord. Because we cannot do, yes, come, we can't go anywhere. We say we're worshiping God. So people play band, they go to church, they dance, 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 dance out their strength, dance and dance, snap picture, check their letters, where, where, you know. But the word of God did not even cross this, this afterwards part of the body here. The Lord is giving us chance today. He's seeking waiting for you and I to surrender everything, to fetch him, to surrender, to embrace him. He's not far from us. 
the Lord help us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Then and then what happened? Her life will change. She became an evangelist. Then her guilt blossomed. Her talent, the enemy has buried all these years. You saw it manifesting. She went and told even those women. She went and she ran into the city like a mad woman. Come and see who, who has, the, the, a man that has told me what, who am I. She was, not, she was not angry. She was happy. She sensed it because she was now filled in the spirit. Her eyes opened. And many, she draws souls to God. These are the people God is seeking. Not those that be arguing. Are we arguing with God? Who can challenge God? And many came. Those that hear the, the, the evangelism, those that hear the word of God, some they came now and they confessed before the Lord. And we are in this. So what happened here? These are the kind of people the Lord, are seeking, the Lord is seeking for. Are we ready? Are we hiding some? Keeping some for ourselves to not pay us any good? Release yourself. Let us release ourselves, release ourselves unto the Lord. He's our creator. He's the owner of our souls. He's the owner of our lives. Cannot pay for a dime. Even a second of this oxygen free air, we cannot even pay, afford it. Till when? For one year, two years, three years. It's a marvelous, marvelous thing God has done for us. He's begging us. He's crying. Lord Jesus is always crying in heaven. He has died for us as many, as men that are ready to surrender, to humble themselves unto the Lord. But God is seeking for a true worshiper because he's a true God. He's a true and faithful God. He's seeking for the faithful worshiper, those that are faithful. Not hypocrites. Hypocrites. No those that watch any, any slightest thing, it became a, a, a talk, became a topic. Became an entertainment, I don't know. Do you go to church to gossip to talk about what pe pe a set of people? Why do you go to worship God? Many people are going to church. Yes, God. So, yes, I love God. I, I love God in my heart. Our God needs our food, evidence, our behaviors, our attitudes. How do we speak? Do we even mind before we pronounce it? How do we feel it in our ears? How do we think that that word is going to sound in our mind? We just open our mouth, we talk. We don't even know the levels. So we will about convergence and divergence. Without whom we are speaking to, is it the same level? At least, our Lord Jesus Christ, even he was his Lord, he, 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 he humbled himself. He said, I'm lonely. And make are we lowly? We talk with authority. Why the owner of authority humbled himself? We need to watch ourselves. Say so people are not coming, people are you no, know, the world is increasing. Why are the people of God are decreasing? The two ones are any slight mistake, you see them going back. Sliding back. Why? Why? You come to them, maybe one or the other. You, you, you stop. This is heavenly race. It's individual race. For your own good, you will benefit. We're going to go say the in Psalm 1 2. Our delight should be in meditating the word of God day and night. If we study the word, if we meditate on it, then when we do something with it, it will ring in our heart that we have done it, we have done wrong. We can go and ask, ask for forgiveness. If we don't meditate, we continue to live in the flesh. 
We are going to seek unto those that are walking in the spirit. Those that are abiding in the spirit because we cannot do without the Holy Spirit of God. Seeking for the true worshippers and not money extortioners. Not those that are there for making monies. Turning the house of God to be a company and merchandise. He said, My father's house is not a den of lions, it's not for thieves. It's where healing will take place, it's where deliverance will take place, it's where people will be blessed and make heaven. That was why when he entered, he kicked everything, turned everything upside down. What have we turned the, the, the house of the Lord to be? You don't want to speak, say the truth, tell the people the truth so that they will not depart, they will, so that your money will decrease, so that you will not drive, drive the highest car or the aeroplane. See the problem we have in this world now. As if our, the power of God is no more there. People can just talk because of what people are doing about God without even minding. Our God is the real God, is the true God. The God changes now. Whether we change or not, our God remains the same. He's just giving everybody time to repent. All this is like the vanity. The richest man in the Bible here. He said, Oh, this is a vanity. And God is still exercising patience. You are pastors, whoever we, you are, still your man is how many? How many? You use people's money, you build schools. And those that even contributed in that school, that their children are not going there. And they are training, training, training a, different, a different entity, different, different thing. And God is in heaven watching. We need to repent. A school for God now is becoming the most expensive school in the whole world. We need to repent. We need to think about it. The offers, they don't, they, they, they poor masses, they don't have opportunity to, to train their children again. What is the love of God? Our Lord just came to die for the poor. He died for us. We are poor before him. Full of compassion. What is the compassion spirit? Training dens, thieves and robbers. When they graduate, the same position, the same kind of oppression, the same spirit. Preaching different and doing a different thing. This is not the kind of people God is seeking. We need to repent. The time is short. All these wars of ours, everybody will give our accounts before the Lord. And God wants us to repent. What is it that will separate us from the love of the Lord? What is it? We don't come to worship God because of miracle. In the presence of God, miracles take place. Just because I need this, that, that is why I'm here. No. Our God is, is complete. When you have an encounter with our Lord Jesus Christ, he, 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 he does what I even imagine. If, has not, if, if, has not done it, if God has not done it in your life, wait patiently, he will do it at, at that time. His time is quite different from ours. That is why he's called God. King of kings, Lord of lords. Jehovah and this is Jehovah Shammah. Don't stop worshipping God. Don't stop being holy. Be holy in and out. Be holy in your life you are living. Be holy in your dressing. Don't say, yes, I'm holy in my heart. I'm okay. While you're outside, you're naked. You say it doesn't matter. It matters. He's seeking unto those that are holy because he's a holy God. He cannot stay in the midst of holiness. He's a fit right. He's thinking before the Lord. That's why we should be holy. If you don't know what is holy, ask God to lead you. When God is there, when we pray, God will answer us. If you have not repented in that aspect, pray for the grace of the Lord. God will help me. 
Just make up your heart. God is, knows when we make, when we, whenever we made our, up our hearts, our God will help us. Though we are still delaying. Maybe we are procrastinating, say maybe tomorrow or next. We are just, let, let me just get this. We cannot play God. Our Lord Jesus Christ did not play. He walked according to the time of God. We are here to walk according to the time of God because we are just ignorant. God is using us at his own time. We need to allow God to use us. We are not here by mistake. You are not wherever you are by mistake. God knows what he's doing. God is preparing us for something great. If only we can allow him to do it. We are not meant to bargain with God. It is a command that we must worship God. We must worship God is a command. God has saved us and set us free by his grace. Let's go to Luke chapter 4, verse 18 and 19. in Jesus' name. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He hath sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach the deliverance to the captive, and the covering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised. 19. To preach the acceptable year of the Lord. The Spirit of the Lord, when the Spirit of God is upon you, there will be difference to manifest. Say by their words, we shall know them. We know the answer. By their fruits, apple tree cannot be an orange fruit. When the Spirit of the Lord is upon you, you will worship God in truth and in the Spirit. There's no two ways about it. The difference is always clear. The difference, there's difference between the children of God and the children of Belial. Joshua 1.8 said, let this word, this book not depart from us. The word of God is only is our watchword. That is our manual. It's our spiritual manual. He said we should meditate upon it there and night. So that we may do all that is written according to all. Are we doing all? Are we choosing? We are choosing. We are making our own choice. There is a gain. There are gain. When you end of that, for own good, for us to be prosperous, for us to be successful, and for us to make it at last. Excuse me. What is it? It's all forgiveness. The word of God asks us, how many times should you forgive your brother and sister? How many times in a day? God has given us an answer. What if I say, we should forgive. We need to think, ch ch check around ourselves. Is there anywhere I'm still fought in that area? Some years ago, when we did this topic in, in, in search and virtuous human then, this talk about forgiveness, it took a long time. Many people were in bondage of unforgiving spirits. The word of God said, when the spirit of the Lord is upon you, you will forgive. You will not even see a reason of having, having Having some grudges or ha having something in your mind against anybody, you forgive. Though it will be painful, but when the spirit of the Lord comes, that chair will be broken. That bitterness, whatever. You see the joy, like my sister, she was smiling. You see the joy of the Lord. You say, oh, I'm, for I'm forgiving. Okay, I'm going to make this decision. The person will say, ask, eh? Is it not this? Sure, that's what our Lord Jesus Christ is seeking. 
those that their behavior, their thought, their imagination like children. The word of God says, unless we are like children, unless our hearts like the heart of the children, that is the only way to make it. If we claim to be adults in our behavior, anything you are doing, think I'm adults, we are th thinking high. Sorry. We need to bring our hearts to hum humble hearts. He brought a child and said it before. When they asked who is going to be the greatest? Hmm. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. This is about God and God's principle. We can't question God, we can't challenge. All we need to do is trust and obey. We need to trust and obey the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Some people claim to be a child of God. Have we impressed this free gift? Yeah, my child of God, my child of God. But when you present about our Lord Jesus Christ, you see the, 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 the interaction will change. How can you say you're a child of God without giving your life to G our Lord Jesus Christ? The way, the truth, and the life. John chapter 14, verse 6. Jesus Christ is the only way. Do not be deceived. You cannot say you know God without our Lord Jesus Christ. No, there's no shortcut about it. All these qualities we are talking is about our Lord Jesus Christ. He came and lived an example for us. And his words, everything he did. We need to copy, we need to imitate him. If you are doing anything on your own, your righteousness is going to be like a fit to die before him. Your righteousness is nothing. We need to embrace this grace in our Lord Jesus Christ. I'm calling you today, my beloved brothers, my sisters, wherever you are, whoever. If you are not giving your life to Jesus Christ, I don't know that thing that's sweetening you in this earth. This earth is going to pass away. There's no mansion that can be compared, compared with a heavenly mansion. John 1, 14, 1 said, do let your heart not be troubled. If you believe in God, believe also in me. Believe in our Lord Jesus Christ. Because in, in, in heavenly mansion, he said, My father's house, there are many mansions. How many mansions do you think you have on this earth? What is it? Our cars, if one dies now, all those things, it, it just six feet after tomorrow, even that, if that day itself, everything's gone. Forget it. People, then, those are living, carry on. Why? Why? We need, to, we need to bring our mind to all these things. Let us not worship our God in vain. We never give our time, our strength in vain. God forbid. The Lord help us. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. All I'm saying, we need to surrender our whole being, our life, as a ransom. Because our Lord Jesus Christ did so. He did it for us. For us not to enter into hell. For us not to miss it. So it's left for us now to comply, as I said before. Left for us to say, yes, I'm, det I'm determined. The road is so tough and narrow. Yes. Give your life to our Lord Jesus Christ. Walk according to, read the word of God, join where you are. The word of God will, will increase you. As we, he, every time, he, every day, in this ministry, by the grace of God, say, Chema, we are being blessed. You can never join, log in here without being blessed. Free! Or if you are going to wear that, preaching the, 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 the true word of God, the truth. Because our Lord Jesus Christ has his own doctrine. Men have their own doctrine. We are not following the doctrine of men that will lead you to eternal damnation. That's why when the Spirit of the Lord is upon you, you will, you will find it out. You will know. You will run for your life before it is late. Let's go to Luke chapter 2, verse 28.
Who chapter 2 verse 28 is good in Jesus' name? Okay. Then took him, he, him up in the arms and blessed him and blessed God and said, Lord, now, now let us, let us thou thy servant depart in peace according to thy word. For my eyes have seen thy salvation, who thou hast prepared before the face of all people, a light to lighten the Gentiles and the glory of thy people Israel. This is our Lord Jesus Christ. He is the light to lighten us. What is the excuse for not dedicating yourself to your maker? For not dedicating yourself, your body, your soul, your heart to the Lord Jesus Christ. Your heart, yes, is for Jesus. Your body is for who? For the devil. Are you sharing yourself? You cannot drink from the cup of the God and go and drink from the cup of the devil. We cannot serve two masters. We cannot. You need to be hot. You cannot be lukewarm. You cannot serve two masters. Yes, I, my heart. But when somebody look at you, oh, you need to cover yourself. Somebody has to cover his eyes or her eyes like this. Say you love Jesus. No, 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 no. You know that what you're doing is wrong. You know. You know. Don't say you know what you're doing is wrong. Women, you know. If this one, if, if men start to wear skirts now, at, you see what we're waiting for, for the men, when that spirit now comes, the, when men start to wear skirts, then you repent. You see men wearing dresses, then, then you repent, you repent. We are naked. So people say you're in the Western world. That is a lie. Not in Africa, everywhere, that spirit is over it. You don't have excuse to give. Just a bad dressing. God had made you beautiful. You said no. God, 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 God is not, God does not know what he's doing. Why God not to do this? Put extra. God had made you to be black and perfect. Because that is, he, he has you, you there in heaven. So that when you look at you, you say, this is my child. He knows all, us all by names. You, you, you went and turned yourself to another color. I said, when you come, God will say, God will clap for us. Repent, it is late. It will be late when the trumpet will stand. And God is seeking for the true worshippers. Those that, that are ready to make use of this time now. Please, my beloved brethren, my beloved sisters, women all over the world, please let us repent. Let us repent. All these artificials cannot help us. You have your glory, you're hiding your glory. That is why the enemy is really dealing. The people of the old, they did not do this kind of thing. Say so we are in the new world. You need to repent. Even a husband will allow his wife to be dressing worldly. There's something wrong. So that you will not go and lose for another woman. Something's wrong. You need to repent. Because not, that's not the spirit of God. The word of God says, when the spirit of God is upon me, what you do is the right thing according to the will of God. Let your wife be wearing shorts and walking in the street, your own wife. That means he, she is not your wife. If he's your wife, you'll be jealous. Our God is a jealous God. You're not jealous. You're exposing your wife to danger. If you have you men wearing shorts, walking on the, in the path, you're still exposing yourself to danger. To cover yourself for your God, cover yourself for, for your wife, for your husband. That's how God has made it. You don't have any weather to give excuse. God knew why He made it, all the weather, how He made them. You don't have any reason to give. That is the devil walking, the spirit of the flesh walking. We need to sit down and think about it. God is seeking unto their what? They are true worshippers. You cannot say, you are a child of God. We are, all these things we are doing there, we need to think about it. Because we need to remember that we are here on a pilgrimage. We are here for a while. We are on transit here. <clears throat> One day our flight to this, the final destination, we, 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 we take off. Where will the person land? Where will we land? Where will we land? 
Oh, God, help us. Father, help us. Holy Spirit, help us. The Lord Jesus Christ came. He said, my meat is to do the will of my Father. What is your meat? According to Luke chapter 2, verse 49. And he said unto them, How is it that ye sought me? We see not that I must be, be about my father's business. Our father is seeking unto them that really want to do his business. What kind of business are you doing? What kind of business are we doing? Treated businesses, dirty business. Business that are connected with your creator. The real business. Fishers of men, winning souls in different ways. Sometimes you might not even use this Bible to preach. People can come when they see your foot, the evidence, the actions. You see them coming closer to you. They want to know the secrets why you are living a life like this. They want to come into you. They want just to draw like that. You might not know their intention. What business are we doing? Now we're in fellowship or in ministry or church, wherever you are. People are doing what they can do. What are we, what are we participating? Are we part of it? We just, we come. You church goers, you, you don't belong to anywhere. I don't help in the, in the church of God. A lot of just when they were, the people were seeking, seeking him, when they found him, he told them what was, you know, he left them. He didn't mind. He found out the, his purpose on time. Have, have we located why God created us? Have we found it? Have we identified it? Our callings, our, everything, by the grace of God. Little by little, God will help us. If you have not, we pray. Don't be distracted by many things. When you're focused, when you set your mind right, you will see the glory of God. It will shine. You don't need to struggle. God will do it. Our God is seeking. He's, he's just close by, he's close by a door. Just waiting for us to, to welcome him. Just Father, use me. Say whoever that honors me. To highly esteem. If you despise him, what will happen? I'm going to seek it unto them. This is the main reason why he created us. Our Lord Jesus Christ is coming soon. I said, George, at a time unknowing to any of us, like in the days of Noah, so shall it be. Haven't we learned a, le a lesson from that event? People were mocking Noah, laughing, doing whatever they wanted. You should know that God misses not his word whenever he speaks. He has commanded us. So we should do it. Are we still running away from being a born again? Are we shying away, running away? Are you a born again? You are doing like this. Born again. I'm a child of God. What is born again? Are you a born again? If you don't know the meaning, you say, okay, tell me. Nicodemus went to Lord Jesus Christ to, to, to know the requirements of being a born again. If you don't know, ask. What God says shall be given. Seek, you will find. You knock, the door shall be opened. Because when you born again, then God will start with you. He's seeking. Our God will learn not. He's still seeking. As I'm here, we are here, he's still seeking. Are we ready to surrender? Are we ready to say, let go? Are we ready? That's in that leaden. What God said, we should let them aside. 
And we don't need to renew our mind. The government to say we should renew our mind. We need to renew our minds. Say, Father, use me. You cannot be coming to church, hearing the word of God, still, same thing, same show, same dance, the same word, the same behavior, no change, nothing. Something is wrong somewhere. You might be a church goer and not a born again or a real worshiper. Going to church doesn't make you a born again. Yes, I go to church every Sunday. Are you going to church today? Yes, I'm going to church. Yes, it's good. Do you go to church with certain people? As a singer, choir. I don't know. I don't know what do you do. What kind of things you do in this? I don't know. You can be an usher too. Different things, different activities. Yeah, maybe. Bible study, you can be a teacher, preacher, are you still born? You know, you need to think about it. That's why the word of God says we should not be deceived. For God is not mocked. We pose ourselves on the podium, half naked. Sometimes it discourages, you know. I mean, you go to church, time for administration. What is? You will not, who? Oh. Ah, God have mercy. God have mercy. Then we minister unto the Lord. How, what kind of spirit is working? Discourages, I'm telling you, discourages me. When I, I'm telling you. You wear your top, you open this like this, half part of your body will be showing. You say I'm worshiping God. What are you doing? In the church, house of the Lord. They have pastors that they like it. No complaint, no counseling. No counseling. Is there a church? Is there a body of Christ? If you don't receive counsel, the word of God said the person is a pastor. You're not a child. Of, a child of God must receive counsel whenever we do wrong. We need to. That's how we know. That's how we can grade ourselves. That's how we can scale ourselves. So, yeah, sometimes, yeah. Maybe not if we still have a husband again in the family. So, but you know, we need to pray for the grace that listening here, that obedience, her humble heart to receive it, to shape us so that we can fit in that narrow way because we need to shape ourselves to enter. It's a narrow way. If we don't shape ourselves, we can't. If we are too big, too big, and the, the, you know, the entrance, we can't. We need to shape, try, we need to shape ourselves to fit in. We need to shape ourselves. And we can't do it alone. The Holy Spirit can help, is ever ready to help us. Painting, everything. You're recreating your face, yourself, telling God, no, God, do not create me well. You put this here, different colors, dedicated to idols. Painting, causing future sickness to your body. So you're making up. Why well, looking like a masquerade? Looking like a man, put all these things, putting all officials, I, I don't know, put officials here, there. Huh. Huh. But don't go say in, 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 in Revelation 20, so we cannot add. Another taking away. If you add, you're adding problems. Flakes. One taking away from God is taking his name her own from the book of life. Our God is all knowing God. There's no one wiser than our God. Why can't our, we live ourselves how God made us and do what He has called us to do? His business. We are supporting devil. If we repent and give our life to Jesus, all this evil will stop. If devil does not have customers, nothing. You see, all this, this, these atrocities will end because we are giving him that we are. So, I, I, He's having, I don't know how to say it. Those are, that are compensating him. Giving them more, more hand to be recreating. Making the suffering of God to be in vain. To never be in vain in Jesus' name. Amen. When the Spirit of the Lord is upon us, we will checkmate. 
everything we do, because we know we are going to stand out before the Lord one day. And we know that our bodies, we are the temple of God. According to the word of God in Corinthians, in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, you need to read it. Praise the Lord. Amen. First Corinthians chapter six. Say here, nay, you do you do wrong and defraud, and that your brethren. Know ye not that the unrighteous unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? They be not deceived, neither fornicators nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. All this once, God are not seeking unto this kind of category of people. God seeking for the holy ones. Those that are bearing the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Goodness, gentleness, kindness, faithfulness, peace, love. The joy of the Lord. Temperance. Self-control. Control ourselves. You're angry, you talk it like that. As it is, I'm going to say it. Even if they have one to fall, let heaven fall. Oh. The Lord deliver us from Jesus' name. This is not what God expects of us. Sometimes, Lord Jesus Christ, sometimes even when the, the Pharisees, they, they were following him, any kind of thing, they would be asking questions. It was not easy. Investigative Christians, followers, to investigate, analyze, do this, do that. Sometimes he can he will not even speak. Sometimes he withdraws himself. No, 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 it doesn't mean that he doesn't have power to say, okay, God, my father, do this to them. But we human beings, we are very hurt in doing things, same things. The Holy Spirit to help us. No, it is not about our power. That's why God is reminding us these things. Sometimes he withdraws himself. He withdraws himself from that, the crowd. They will not even notice. They will just... Quietly, not shouting, arguing. It's we children of God. We argue, we shout, we all, all these things. We are doing it, We're doing them. God help us. We need to repent. Our God is seeking unto those that will glorify Him. Excuse me, in the body and souls. Hallelujah. Thank you, my Lord Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. The time is short. That is why our Lord is really seeking to those that will be with him in the heavenly mansion. The fashion of this world passes away. The fashion of this world passes away. First Corinthians 6, as I was in 6, 15, say, Know ye not that your bodies are the members of Christ? Shall I then take the members of Christ and make them the members of an harlot? God forbid. The word of God said, God forbid. The member of Christ. You are taking it to a different thing. What? Know you not that he which is joined to an harlot is one body? For two hearts, he shall be one flesh. The thing that is joined unto the Lord is one spirit. I'm going to seek unto them that join with him. We need to join together, our hands together, our spirit together with God, with our Father. One spirit, we do it. In unity, we do it. We make it. We serve the Lord diligently. Pursue the same goal. Even as this our conference is coming, are we praying towards that conference? It's not one man's business. It's not, 
we, we all are connected in this. We are we all here connected. You might say, I have not done this. You are good. You are connected anywhere you can to make sure that this, this conference takes place and, you know, pro and after, pre and after, God will bless you. Both in prayer, in showing the fruit, and not allowing the enemy, any discouragement, anything, we, this conference will take place and after it we continue to the glory of God. We continue serving the Lord. It will bring more souls. We also will still be showing that fruit because we are builders. What we are doing is bringing souls or taking away souls. Amen. 18. Flee fornication. Everything that a man doeth is without the body. But he that committed fornication sinned against his own body. What? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the, of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, which ye have of God, and ye are not, and ye are not your own? We are not our own. You are not your own brother, your sister, mother, father, children, youth. You are not your own. We are being purchased by the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. He died for everyone. You cannot deny it. To appease our God, because all of us have we have sinned and fallen. The short of glory of God. So don't joke with your body. Say this is my body. This is my, because God has given us this to be carrying them along. We we do anyhow. We close door. We do things. We think God is not seeing us. God is seeing us. Remember this American woman. Our Lord Jesus Christ knew he had four, five men, but none of them was his her husband. He told her, narrated everything to her. Then she she could she couldn't bear it. She ran into the city. She ran like this as immediately started telling this, testifying, telling people, come out, come and see. Come and see, come and see what the Lord has done. Come and see, I have seen him. Come and see a woman. Are you ready today to go and copy? Come and see the Lord. I have changed. Let them see your behavior. Let them see your attitude. Let them see the new Jesus in us. A new creature. The old things in me have passed away. The old things in you have passed away. Are they still seeing the same character? When you are like without Bible, now you are carrying Bible, the same thing. May the Lord deliver us in the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord help us. You need to be a wise virgin, a white bridegroom, a white, a wise builder. Our Lord is calling on you today. Are you a wise virgin? Are you a wise bride? Are you a wise bridegroom? Are you a wise builder? Our Lord is calling on you today. Our Lord is calling on us today. But if you have not been wise all these years, now is an opportunity to repent and separate yourself from the love of the world. You should not say tomorrow, as I said, it might be too late for us. The true worshiper do not speak against the Holy Spirit. We read it in the word of God. What of God says, if you sin against the Holy Spirit, it cannot be forgiven. That's what we should be mindful of, what you are doing, what you are saying. And Lord Jesus Christ said, you can sin against him. Yeah, you are pardoned. But when you see what God is doing in the life of somebody, God is doing, whether you are not sure, you keep your mouth. It is God doing it, and when he's saying, you should be careful. If you are not careful before, sin now. The Lord said at the time of ignorance, he went at but now we have known the truth. We need to repent. Rather, we need to gather alongside with the instruction of the Lord. I'm not making or setting arguments on the standard of God, which is love, holiness, and righteousness, without which no man shall see the Lord. According to Hebrews 12, 14, say we pursue peace with all men. And holiness. 
Are you pursuing peace? We have anything with men, kata, kata, kata. We are online, we are in different cities. How do people see us there? Other you people, we go to church, people, everybody. Our God is seeking. Our God is seriously seeking. Let us come down. Let us come to our God. Let us remember our Father is here, waiting for us. I say, her next children of peace. Two ways are set before humanity. The narrow way and the broad way. This broad way leads to hell, fire. The narrow way is the only way that will lead us to God. Two ways that are inevitable, unavoidable. Nobody can escape. Nobody will escape from this. I'm serious. Praise the Lord. God help us in Jesus' name. Our Lord Jesus Christ encountered many challenges and interrogations in the hearts of the wicked world. Let's endure them for, for our sakes. For our own sake. Because God, our Lord, know that we are of age now. We are no more babies. We are no more babies. When the blind man was hid, the Pharisees were trying to know how any things happened. The parents told, when they're asking the parents, they advised them to go to the man that was hid, that he was of age. Our Lord God knew that we're of age now. We're of age. We're no more babies. We have been eating bones. We have been hearing enough. We have been, we have been in the Lord. Whether you come last week or by the grace of God, God knew how he's called. Whether, whether we have been years now, we are of age. That's why he's sending this word to us today. And can speak for yourself. And can serve him. He delivered him from that spirit of blindness. But the Lord delivered us from every spiritual blindness that or opacity that is still on us. May God deliver us today in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us stand on whom we are fearing, which is God. Let us look unto him. He's a rewarder for them that diligently seek him. Praise the Lord. Amen. When they confronted this young man that was here, I don't know if you have time. Mark John 9. When they confronted him, he answered and said, Whether he be a sinner, they asked him, Yeah, verse 24 of 9. Then again, called there the man that was blind and said unto him, Give God the praise. We know that this man is a sinner. Can you imagine what they're saying? But he answered and said, Whether he be a sinner or no, I know not. One thing I know that, whereas I was blind, now I see. Then said there to him again, What did he do to he to thee? How open he thy eyes? Hmm. He answered them, I have told you already, and ye did not hear. Wherefore would you hear it again? Will you also be his disciples? Hallelujah. Somebody that was here, they were asking, what, do, what, what? What is what the enemy can do? Why can't you surrender? Are we still asking this kind of thing? Are we still playing this kind of role? Are we in, this, in the same category? Now he asked them, did they want to be his disciple? Let them. Can you imagine, my dear? See what, they, what, they, they, what is happening? This kind of thing is still existing. People are still questioning the power of God. Can God use this person? Can God do this thing? Is God here? And God is alive. Continue. Are you, are you in the Lord? Are you born again? My beloved sisters, my brothers, Continue. The road is tough and narrow, but by the grace of God, we make it. Our Lord Jesus Christ made it. We also will make it in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. When we have the Spirit of the Lord, anything we do, we inquire of the Lord. 
as our brother David did. Don't need to go there much. He inquired. Then he went for war. And they came and stole everything he had. People were crying, you know, blaming him. He, he was encouraged in First Samuel 30. We can read it. We're on our own. He was encouraged. Then he inquired of the Lord. He asked of the Lord. When you're a child of God, you cannot do without Jesus, without asking God. You cannot do on our own. God said, go, pursue that you will recover. He went and he recovered everything. These are the kind of people God is seeking. The people after his heart. Are you after the heart of the Lord? Can God say, this is my child? Can he be proud of us? That's for my children. Praise the Lord. Amen. The Lord help us. We cannot hide our sins before the Lord. Let us continue in the Lord. He has perfected his work. Our Lord Jesus Christ has perfected his work in us. All that we need to do to be genuine. To obey his voice, his word. This young man I was talking about, she had a blind man. When our Lord Jesus Christ did a healing, he told him, go out to the silo, go there and wash. Go to the pool and wash. He told him, go. That, that meant something. Though he received healing, had he did not obey to go and wash in that John 9, when you have to try read them. Try read them. Once he went and did it, then he became perfectly whole. Are you still half and half, brackish? And God wants us to go to them and wash ourselves. We need to wash. Only the blood of Jesus Christ can wash us and make us to be as white as snow. Revelation chapter 3. The word of God said, we need to be what? Hot. Neither cold nor hot. God is seeking for those that are hot. He's knocking at the door. Revelation chapter 3, 20. Let's go there quickly. Let me just go to you first. Say, I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot. I would thou were cold or hot. 16. So then, because thou art lukewarm, and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. These are not the kind of people God is seeking. He's seeking unto them that are hot, not lukewarm. Because thou said, I am rich, and and increase with goods. I have need of nothing, and knowest not that thou art wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked. We are this is we are this. Who are wretched? Who are we? Nothing. Because our Lord Jesus Christ has come and died for us now. We can boast. Do whatever we want. The word of God is reminding us who we are, who we are. Because of the mercy of the Lord. And God pitied, had mercy. Say, I cancelled it to buy of me gold, try in the fire. God is cancelling us today to buy of him gold, try with fire. Are we ready? Are we ready? These are the people God is seeking. Those are ready. He's knocking at the doors of our heart today. Say, behold, I stand at the door and knock. And God is knocking. He's knocking to every one of us, everybody. God is knocking today. He's still knocking because to God, another opportunity today to live. If any man hear my voice, are we hearing the voice of the Lord? Are we hearing? By the grace. And open the door. Are we coming to him? And we sup with him and he with me. Our God is knocking today. He's really knocking, knocking at the doors of our hearts. Have we opened it? If we have not opened, our God is knocking. Say, as many as I love, verse 19, I rebuke and chasten. 
be zealous therefore and repent. May the Lord bless his word. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name. Amen. Over to you, sister. God bless you, and the Lord reward you. And the Lord reward you abundantly in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for that very powerful exhortation. It is time for us to know where we are standing with the Lord. It is time for us to, we should know the level we have. It's not about how we think of ourselves. It's more about how the Lord and what the Lord thinks of us. That is the major and the most important thing. We always fail to acknowledge that, say that our Lord is sick.